with color using this uh, fabric so the first thing i'm going to do now is to cut out my fabric so guys um the first thing i i did is just to take my fabric it depends on you what you want the bottom of your flare to be so for me i want it to be 15.5 folded into four if you want you can make yours 17 18 19 20 whatever you want uh, if you want the a-line even like flow weird than this but i just want my just like a straight um a-line not too wide or flow way at the end so that's why i'm using 15.5 at the bottom here so i have about four here one two three and then four so the fabric is folded into two so i have the front panel and the back panel so you see two fabrics folded into two here but each of them is about um 15.5 for me but it depends on what you want to use for yours so this is going to be the bottom of my dress the next thing i'm going to do now is to determine the length so for me the length i'm going to be using here is um i want it just above my knee so about i'm going to use 41 so i'm using 39 inches for the length of my dress 39.5 but plus extra 1.5 inches so that's going to be about 41 inches here so it depends on you whatever length you want to use add 1.5 to it so i'm going to mark my 41 inches here all the way here so this is going to be the part where i'll attach my sh the shoulder so the next thing i'm going to do now is to come to the shoulder line mark your shoulder so the shoulder i'm working with is 16 divided by 2 that's going to be 8 i'm going to mark it here come down on this line the armhole i'm working with is uh the armhole i'm working with is 20 20 divided by 2 that's 10 i'm going to mark that line here and then connect it up to this point here the next thing you're going to do now is to mark on this line that you marked your 20 or whatever that's going to be your bust line what you're going to do now is to check what your bust measurement is so for me the bust measurement i'm working with is 40 so the bust measurement i'm working with is 42 so 42 inches divided by 4 that's going to be 10.5 so 10.5 is here i'm going to add extra one inch for my seam allowance that's going to be 11.5 but if you if you want you can add you can add ease to it like if you want some room you can add about half half inch that's half inch making it total of 1.5 that you added so you can add extra half an inch for ease or like one inch you can add extra half an inch or extra one inch it depends on how much room you want to have in the dress or you can just add your one inch for your seam allowance and end it there or you can add for like room in the dress and then maybe that will be about one or half an inch so i'm going to use half an inch for mine so in total what i did at the bust is my bust measurement plus one divided by four plus extra 1.5 inches so the next thing you're going to do is to mark from that point that you already um the the mark wherever you marked on your bust line you're just going to connect it down to this end here like if you have your ruler just wherever it is at this top here point it to this end here right to the end here so if it's at this point that you're going to that your boss measurement is then you angle it this way if it's here you still angle it this way wherever it is just point it to the end here and then you're going to mark like a straight line down over there down to that point after that you're going to give it a curve here and then the next thing you're going to do is to come down by one inch on this on your shoulder slant so mark the one inch here and then the next thing you're going to do is to go to your neckline you're going to mark about if you want you can use three by three but i'm going to use 2.75 by three so here and then come down by three inches so what i mean by three by three you can do three inches by three inches down or you can do 2.75 by three inches down so that's what i'm saying you mark it here and then for your back neckline remember we have two pieces of fabric here one for the front the second one at the back is for your back uh, piece here and remember we didn't put any um, zip allowance because there's not going to be any zip in this cloth here so you're going to come down by one inch here for your back neckline and then you're going to connect it also to this here when you connect it to this here 
you connect this line here to this here so you connect your shoulder slant and then that's basically it now you're going to start cutting it out so the first thing i'm going to do is to separate the back from the front so i'm going to cut out the back neckline first so that's it i'm going to now cut the shoulder so guys this is basically it i've cut out the back neckline cut out the front neckline and then what i have here i've cut out the a line also so what i'm going to do now is to separate the front from the back and then I'm going to come down about five or six inches for the back to give it some um, space to put in your head. So I'm going to come down about six inches down here for the opening at the back. So this is it. I'm going to finish this up with bias. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to... Um, so guys, the next thing is to cut the sleeve. And to cut the sleeve, I have two pieces here. One sleeve and then the other sleeve. It depends on the length you want to use for your sleeve. For me, um, I'm using about 8 inches for my sleeve plus extra 1.5 for seam allowance, half an inch for the top, and then 1 inch for folding the end. So the next thing you're going to do, so whatever you decide to use as the length of your sleeve, add extra 1.5 to it. So the next thing is the width here so the width i'm using here is the same as uh, what i said before so your your arm your armhole divided by two so for me that's uh, 10 so that's um what i have here 10 10 inches is the width here so if you open it up now you'll see that this is 20 which is my armhole total so if you fold it into two then you have 10 on each side. So I have two pieces of it here. I'm going to come down here by 4 inches. Mark it straight here. And then mark my sleeve. I already have a video on how to cut, um, cut your sleeve. And connect it to this part here. So that's basically it. I'm going to cut this out now. So guys, this is the sleeve here. This is two of them here. So I'm going to set it aside. The next thing is to cut the collar. So guys, before I start that, I'm going to first finish up the, this with a bias and then join the shoulder of my uh, dress. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine now and join the shoulder together. So guys, I'm going to go to the sewing machine and join the shoulder here and then join the shoulder here so that I can be able to get the total um, uh, measurement for around the shoulder before I start cutting this because that's the first requirement before you start cutting your um, neckline so I'm going to join it and come back guys um I've gone ahead close the shoulder I decided to put in the sleeve one time so the next thing is to just fold this into two like this and measure around the neckline so this uh, spread it out and then measure what your neckline will be so mine is about eight inches on this side so if you fold it into two that means I have about I'm working with 16 inches is what I'm working with here so you measure around your neckline and measure it correctly and then you will you're going to so guys the first thing I'm going to do now is to open this up let me tell you guys what I did here. So the width here is seven inches, right? This point to this point is seven inches. This point to this point is 15 inches, right? Um, so if you, um, I have two pieces of it here, right? Two pieces of this rectangle here. So if you fold it into two, I'll have 3.5 each, right? I'll have 3.5 inch. I want so this is going to be the width of my the top part of the collar. This is going to be the width here. So um I want uh I want mine to be 2.5. So plus extra one inch that I added when I like when I'm done, I want it to be 2.5 left. But the extra one inch I added here to make it 3.5 is for seam allowance. That's half an inch for the top, half an inch for attaching the bottom. But remember, if you open it up you have seven seven divided by two but when you fold the seven that seven divided by two you have 3.5 so that's why that's how i got the seven so to cut your weight you cut seven inches right but when you fold it into two it's going to be 3.5 
So I've explained how you're going to get your width. So for the length, now what you're going to do, it depends, the, the length depends on you. You can use 14, you can use 15. It, it depends on the pointed, how you want the pointed part of your collar to be. That's what this, uh, the length is going to be. So what you're going to do now, so I'm using 15 for mine. What you're going to do after that is to fold this into two, right? Fold it into two. And then you're going to find, um, so now we are going to need the measurement that we got from around the neck of our top. So for me, I got 16, right? So remember, whatever you got now, bring down, bring that measurement now. So I got 16, 16 divided by um, 4. You're going to divide it by 4. That's going to give me 4, right? You're going to divide it by 4 as a constant. If it's 15 that you got, divide it by 4. So I divided mine by 4. I got another 4, right? 16 divided by 4, I got 4. So mark that 4 here. Add extra half an inch for your seam allowance. So that's 4.5. And then that 4.5 that you got, connect that line. If you have a ruler, place it this way, right? Place it to this point and connect it this way. You see, if you use, so guys, you see, if you use 14, then your angle will be not this sharp. It will be this, maybe somewhere here. Like if you use 14 for the width of this fabric, but I use 15. So you see my angle is pointing down this way. If you use 16, it might be point here. So it depends on the design you're going for. So you see what I'm saying here? That 15 that I used for this whole width here includes my seam allowance. You can use 14 for yours. The 14 will still include your seam allowance, but the only part that I marked seam allowance is the bottom part here, right? Because remember, I divided my neckline by four and then added extra half to it. So this is the half here. And then I marked it this way. I didn't go up here to maybe add half an inch for seam allowance. I just marked it because I'll still take it out from whatever I have at this top part here. So remember, you can't have these two parts here being the same length. So after that, the next thing you're going to do is to come back to this folded end here and subtract about half an inch or by or one inch. It depends on you. I'm going to do half an inch, right? And then you're going to curve it down to meet this part here. If you have a curve ruler, that's better. Curve it to meet this part here, right? Mine doesn't look like a curve, but it's supposed to be a curve. So I'm going to just now, you're going to trim it out. Remember, this top part here is supposed to be pointier than this part you can't have the two of them being the same so you're going to cut this part out so guys i've cut out this i cut this out from here cut this out from here i'm going to remove it now so what we have now is the neckline looking this way so remember i did two at a time right but if you want you can do yours separately so now we're going to open up this part here remember i after folding it now i have about four pieces for each side right i'm opening up this part now so I have two for one neckline, two for one side of the neck, and then two for one side of the neck. If you want, you can do yours one at a time, like do two pieces of fabric ones and then do the second piece of fabric one. I did mine the same time. So you see, one is going to be on one neck, one is going to be on the other neck of your shirt. So what you're going to do now is that you're, you're going to iron in it and the stay, the interface on one of these pieces here on one side ironing the interface on the other one piece each side right so after doing that you're going to face it right side facing each other and then close up make a stitch all the way down this way this way make a stitch this way close it up the only part you will leave open is this is the this part here because after that you're going to use this to flip it out right you're going to flip it out so now we are going to cut the the stand, right? The collar stand. So guys, what I'm doing, what I'm doing now is the collar stand. So for that, I cut out the same round your neck. So for me, it's 16. You're going to add extra two inches to it. So um, mine is 16 plus two, so that's going to be um, 18. So that's what I have as the length. So for the width here. I want it to be um, about 2.5 on each side, right? So, but if you open it up, that will be 5 inches. But if you fold it, that's uh, 2.5. So I'm going to split it open. So guys, now I have 2.5 here. Remember, so 2.5, I've cut it open. So what you're going to do now is um, you're going to fold this into two here. 
let me explain the 2.5 i want when i'm done i want my the stand to be about 1.5 right but i added extra one inch to it so as seam allowance so uh, now i have 2.5 one 1.5 is what i will have when i'm done but extra one inch is for seam allowance so that is what made it 2.5 so i have 2.5 as width here 2.5 on the other one too so what i'm going to do now is to fold it into two and then after folding it into two, I'm going to find the center, right? Find the center. So the width, so now that I folded it into two, I'm going to find the center of this um, this length here. So I have nine. Remember, that if I open it up, it's 18. If I fold it into two, it's nine. Then you also have to find half of that nine. So that would be 4.5. So I'm going to mark the 4.5 here. Come up on this side here remove about um, half an inch here and then connect it again like a curve right the same way we did for the top part of it so connect it again this time around we are doing it at the end here for the top part of the collar we did it at like the, the curve part here it came down but here we are doing it at the curve here so now i'm going to cut out this part here so now i'm going to notch this top part here notch it out so you're going to notch here so that you know where the center is and then you're going to iron in your stay on one of this here so this one here is going to go around the whole color but the, the this one here has like two piece for one part of the color one part of the color but this one here is going to go around the neckline so now that you've cut it you're going to iron in stay on one of them so guys um as you can see i've gone ahead and flipped it out and then ironed it so you see if i flip it in now you will see the stitches i trimmed off the excess and notched it ironed the two of them so what you're going to do now is remember after um the after folding this what you did was to notch the top part of this right and this is the curve part if you look closely you see this is the curve part of it right this is the curve part so what you're going to do after ironing in your stay is to because i don't have any stay so i'm just using the fabric itself to show you guys so what you're going to do is to find where the center is place one of these here right and then find that same notch that you made take the other one place it there so the two of them are starting where this notch is right you place it together there and then you're going to maybe pin it down or just start making your stitch right on top here and then when you get here you find that you have about half an inch left use the, the next one right put it on top also remember you're sewing this on the curve part the straight part is at the end here you didn't make any stitch here so you're going to use this one also to cover it like make a stitch on top and cover it when you're done you push this in here let me show you with this side so let's say you've stitched it now all the way on top here and then you're going to close this up to half an inch you're going to close it up and leave about half an inch remaining so you will not close up like about half an inch at the end here and then when you're done you're going to flip it out so guys as you can see i've sewed the thing i closed it up all the way to the side and then flipped it out now so this is what it looks like so now what i'm going to do is to take this here so i'm going to take this here remember i told you to leave about half an inch at the end so you're going to use this here hold it this way start one start from that half an inch here use your pin to pin it down and go all the way around like use one side is what you're pinning down at the moment so guys after pinning it down all the way around then and so and then you sew on it the next thing you're going to do is to use the other part of it to cover it right so now you're going to use the the top part you use the bottom part to pin it down what you're going to do now is to use the other half the other top part fold it in and then use it to cover the stitch that you made and stitch it again all the way around so that's basically thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye